everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we are doing our January budget. Long time no see. So if a budget is something that your monthly budget is something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay you guys, let's hop right on in. I've already tabbed my new monthly. Um, these are from my shop. Uh, the link should be listed below and this is our monthly breakdown i've already circled january um, i'm gonna go off of an old monthly i actually need to make me some monthly inserts but i think about it so let's get a pen so you guys don't have mercy it has been <laughs> the last month or so it's been a little I can't even describe it. I bought hardly any Christmas gifts. Um, just everything has been kind of tight. You know that new variant has kicked in of COVID. I am actually on my last day of quarantine. Not that I tested positive, but because one of my customers um, tested positive and she let me know the day after she came. So here I am. So I figured I'd use this time for good. Plus, I forgot a couple of bills last month. Had to pay some late fees. So I'm trying to avoid that this month. So I don't know. So if you're new here, my sources of income is hair, nail, nails, and Shopify, which is my shop. Um, I shut down my Etsy for a little bit. I may reopen it. I closed it because they were doing the 1099 over 600 and I was fastly approaching that. I know, just pay the 1099. <laughs> but anyway, so this month is always a slow month for me with hair because it's after the holidays. People are paying um, credit cards back. So I'm going to just guesstimate this at 2800 And also if you're new here, I am self-employed in all my jobs. I have three businesses at the present time. And um, it's always iffy. So I always go with the lower number. Um, for nails, we've been doing roughly around two 200 This was the month that I was going to finally um, up my prices. I've just been charging them nothing. And they just tip me. I just ask for tips um, because I'm just re-getting back into doing nails. Um, but also this month um, for nails, I am cutting back on my customers because I do work from home doing nails and I work in a salon doing hair and with the nails, I just really don't want everybody in my house. Even though I'm doing people who are vaccinated, I am I'm doing pretty much people I know, um, a couple that was referred to me by maybe those people or family member, um, I'm cutting some people back, but I'm still leaving it at 200 because um, I haven't decided on the prices yet. Shopify, I really don't know. I am running a sale now. Um, I'll leave the code here for the sale. Um, it doesn't have an end date right now. I'm just trying to get rid of some inventory, but I'll put the code here, new year 22. So I'm just gonna guesstimate 100 so far for that. So that's 3,000, $3,100 for the month. Okay, let's get into the juicy part. Right now, I had planned to do some cash stuffing. Cash stuffing is coming back. Don't fret, <laughs> cash stuffing is coming back. I had saved up a couple of dollars, but then when I had to go on um, quarantine, I had to dip into that money, which I was gonna do my um, cash envelopes. So nonetheless, I always start, also I always start with those bills that are important to me, which is car note. I'm just going to put the whole thing instead of breaking it up like I pay it. I think it's 363.81. And that's due on the 11th and the 20th. Okay. We have car insurance. That's something else. Uh, oof, $206. That's due on the 28th. Okay. And then on the 20th as well, I have Navy Federal Credit Union Loan. And that's $96.11. I only owe 270 something more dollars on that. Uh, I'm trying to have it paid off by February. Um, T-Mobile, oh God, there's different dates on this, so I won't put any dates there. And it's a lot. I'm just gonna put 400 because I'm on a payment plan right now. And I, that's something else I wanna do this year is finally be able to pay them on time so 
I'll have some new categories this month, um, this year for my sinking funds. Okay, then on the 18th, we have Barclays. Um, they should get 100. We have the 17th Citibank. And they've been getting like $31. I think I gave them 50 last month. I'm gonna give them 50. Um, Amazon, doing the first, they've already taken their money out. And it is $13.77. I'm sorry if this camera's shaking. Hold on. <sighs> okay, I got rid of my cloth and paper. As y'all can see, I'm going on this one over here. Um, I got rid of my cloth and paper because I just had to free up some money. Lane Bryan has paid off. Um, I paid Ulta this month. And I did give them $29. So that's paid. Amazon is paid. Um, let's see. Victoria's Secret is paid off. Uh, Walmart, I've set up a payment. And that is $28. Right now, I'm paying basically the minimum on most of my um, credit cards just so I can kind of um, get caught up, if that makes sense. Uh, Canva, I have the seventh down here. And that's also... Thirteen seventy seven. Okay. Insta Ink, I believe that comes out on the twentieth. And that is nineteen ninety nine. And Apple altogether it is like thirteen dollars. And booth rent. So booth rent has gone up. Um, it's paying eight, nine. It's like nine hundred dollars a month now. And Wayfair. Now Wayfair, I need to pay off by the twentieth or twenty fifth of this month, and it's like two hundred and something dollars. So um, I'm gonna put two fifty. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but. And then Shopify, I haven't sold anything yet. If I sell anything, we're going to put it at $34, okay? Because I may just go in and use Pirate Ship for shipping. And then we have Community Bank. I always forget about them, which I have just paid. And they were... I think thirty dollars. No, I don't actually owe anything for Community Bank this month. I looked because I had a late payment last month, and so I just doubled it. Not that I was paying the late fee, um, but they showed that I don't owe anything for this month. Um, but it would normally be twenty nine. I'm going to double check, make sure, and I think that's it. Yeah, because we got rid of cloth and paper. So as you can see, I freed up a lot of this space. Let me show you. I was running out of space on this one, and this one is from August. These are all the things that um, I pay, but I've gotten rid of two credit cards and a subscription. So now will I ever get, get another subscription to cloth and paper? More than likely, yes, but right now it's just not in the plan. So let's do a little math in. And what I'm going to work on today is creating me a monthly um, insert. It's snowing here, so that's what I think I'm going to do. So let's do a little math. As you see, I have $2,517.45 in bills, and I will be barely making it. <laughs> $2,517.45. So this is my total. I'm going to subtract it from the $3,100. Left. 
I'm gonna leave it like that. And that is my January budget. Um, as things change, I will be doing my... Before I get cut off again, that is my January budget. And I will see you guys next...